Press down before you make a next move. Take it easy, bubble in a seat. Come relax your mind now for me. Settle down now. NCSA in the morning. Good morning, Barbados. I'm your host, Deanza Roberts. I'm here at the National Council on Substance Abuse, and I'm here with staff members, as we do it every Monday morning, finding out from staff what they're doing for the rest of the week, what they're doing today. You know, the staff gets to work so early. This morning, I have with me Jennifer Batiste. She's on my right. And I have Mr. Brian Payne on my left. And they are going to tell you, Barbados, what are their plans for this morning? As we say in the Caribbean ladies first, good morning. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Bianca. Oh, it's good to see you this morning. It's, it's bright and early. Too. Having some coffee with you. Yes, it's good to be here. I'm so happy that you have me on the show this morning. Great. So, as Junior Program Officer at the National Council on Substance Abuse, my role is to implement drug prevention programs at all levels in the community, whether it's schools, workplaces, or churches. And I also work closely with my colleague, Mr. Brian Payne, in the, drug, in the facilitation of the Drug and Life Skills Secondary School Program. I'm also editor of our quarterly newsletter, Matters of Substance. I believe I gave you a copy of that yes, magazine. Oh, I was going really through this. Yes. This is so informative. I want you to tell Bobby this about okay. this. The Matters of Substance is our quarterly newsletter. It has a wealth of information. We publish information on all our activities, whether NCSA programs, um, current drug trends, as well as the issues as it relates to drug abuse within the families and the communities. I was going through this uh, when you gave it to me this morning, and I realized you have a lot of people writing. Staff um, actually contribute yes, to this. Yes, we have staff who contribute, and we also have partners who also contribute articles as well. And this newsletter is disseminated via email blast to all government agencies across the island, and it is also available online at our website, www.ncsa.org.bb. Good stuff, good stuff. And the fact that she mentioned um, it's online, I want to let you know that NC, NCSA Barbados is on Facebook, NCSA Barbados, of course. It's on Twitter, it's on YouTube, it's on Instagram. They are social media lit, as the young people would say. Correct. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, How Deanda. are you? I'm very fine. You gave me a really warm greeting when I came this morning. And the first thing you said to me, you have to have some coffee. Well, that's true, but that's because I'm in a good mood. Oh. And it's a wonderful day. It is a wonderful day. So Brian, you have what, to make the most of it. What are your plans for today and the rest of the week? Tell Barbados what exactly well, you do here at the uh, NCSA. As a drug education officer at the National Council on Substance Abuse, I go to the secondary schools and um, do drug education and life skills. And this morning, I will be heading, today is Monday, I'll be going to about three schools during the day. And the drug education and life skills uh, program is a holistic program. It is holistic because we recognize that uh, young people, indeed human beings, um, get involved in deviant behavior and using and abusing drugs for many possible reasons or uh, causes known as risk factors and therefore there are many possible solutions. So the program is holistic, meaning that um, we look not only at um, making sure that our young people are well educated and informed on all the possible dangers associated with the use and abuse of drugs, whether legal or illegal drugs, but also um, focus on some basic life skills because we understand, as I said, um, because of lack of um, some basic life skills, it puts young people at a disadvantage. They are unable to deal with the many challenges that face them, which could lead them into drug abuse. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we do cover some basic life skills. But um, to explain more about the drug education component, we have to make sure that our uh, drug information is up to date and it is appropriate, it is appropriate. And because information, as you know, is vitally important in 
decision making. Mm -hmm. It is. It um, is. There are many factors that influence decision making, um, but two vitally important aspects would be our values mm -hmm. and information. I like that. Mm -hmm. If you have like wrong that. information, exactly. Uh, you misleading wrong information, exactly. you're you likely to make wrong choices. So we have to make sure that our young people are well informed, not only about the drugs mm -hmm. that we commonly hear about or use in Barbados, mm -hmm. but because our program is universal, we have to make sure that they also are well aware of the many dangers uh, the threats to mental, physical, and social health mm -hmm. of drugs that are also out there that are being used because we know that the danger, as long as something is being used overseas, yeah. we know. Yeah, it's a trend. It's a, it's a, a trend. trend right? It's a trend. So, uh, so we make sure that it's up to date. You, you touched on some vital points. And Barbados, I want you to understand that the National Council on Substance Abuse is not just a building, it's not just, just going out to school. The programs are so, it's so many programs. And every time I sit with members of staff, it's a learning experience. Um, Jennifer, I'm going to ask you this question. How do you choose what to put out there in your newsletter? And would at, at some point, would you or would the NCSA decide that we're going to do a newsletter to distribute to schools instead of just the, the, the government? Because you, I realize that it's a lot of youth being targeted at the NCSA. Your thoughts on that? Okay. Currently, we utilize social media a lot because we do recognize that young people, they tend to... You know they like Facebook, they like Instagram. So we want we we want to put out short, informative ads as it relates to substance abuse, so that you know young people can access them quickly and easily, and but they're still impactful as well. Um, we are also looking to disseminate our information. Yes, the schools as a very um, brilliant idea because we recognize that schools also have a lot of issues as, as it relates to drug abuse as well. So we're looking to, we're looking to go that, um, route. that route as well. Yes. Very well, very well. Um, more, more so, we have the issue of medical marijuana. Yes, yes that's a, very that's topic, a talking that's point. That's a very yeah. topical issue. Yep. And there's a lot of misconceptions as it relates to recreational marijuana and medicinal marijuana. So our next issue, um, which is coming out the end of December, we're going to have some information about medical marijuana as well. What do you mean the issue of industries? Yes, well? matters of substance. Matters of substance. And Lovely. again, it can be accessed online, www.ncsa.org.bb. Barbados, I learned something this morning that had me rocking up. I understand this gentleman who go into the secondary school also is a man that you know singing calypso and also does a little bit of poetry also i'm going to give him one minute only one minute to give you a little piece of something that he has written that actually talks to the youth you, you want to do that for us i understand what, what, is, well, what is your what is your name on that platform again um brian bobo pn is, is my name nice. um, obviously within the 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 secondary school program over the years I've used um, music and rhythm poetry and for instance one of the very popular songs that I use a, a rhythm poem, poem called Calm Down. Give me a little piece of that. Just a little piece. Give peace a chance. Calm down give peace a chance. Mm -hmm. So um, but you'll have to sing along. Okay. Everybody, right? No problem. So, so Jennifer, we have to sing yes. the part. I don't know yeah. it, but I'll catch it. Go All ahead. you have to do is sing. Calm down. Calm down. Go right? ahead, man. We're so consumed by violence. We see it all around. In every nook and cranny, this violence is found. We see it on the TV. We see it on the screen, on internet and video games. This violence is seen. So now some people doing what comes so naturally. I beg and stop this nonsense. 
and safe society. Let me hear you. Calm, calm down. down. What you're fussing for? Calm, calm down. down. What you're fussing for? Calm, calm down. down. What you're fighting for? Calm down. down. Calm down. Calm down. What you're flexing for? Calm down. What you're vexing for? Calm down. Calm yourself. Before you say a word, you hear? Calm yourself. Before you make a move, be calm, be calm. Give peace a chance. Be calm, be calm, be calm, calm, calm. Be calm, be calm. Give peace a chance. Be calm, be calm. Give peace a chance. Barbados! NCSA has talents. NCSA has research. NCSA has information programs projects and much much more to come we just hear a man saying calm down ncsa we're located right here in in belleville the corner of of, of uh, First time, yeah. what was the name of the building again amara building amara building I, I just couldn't pronounce it for you <laughs> but amara building um we have to give kudos to our cameraman, our cameraman, the man behind the camera, understand he's Timothy Eiffel, and he is the, the main IT technician. Every I understand he's hands-on and he has been doing a fabulous job so far with our programming and the lady with the coffee and the setup and everything. The entire staff at NCSA. You've been listening to NCSA. You've been listening and viewing NCSA in the morning. I'm your host, Deanza Roberts, and you have here Jennifer Batiste. And you have here Brian Payne. Remember, NCSA taking charge of change. Okay. See you next Monday. Deanza Roberts, have yourselves a wonderful Monday.